Spence Methadone gave out new needles, and then he kissed. Oh, and you? A kiss is not lovely. Shh. So are you going out or not? I don't know. He hasn't asked me yet. Nor can I yet, no. Good morning, all. Good morning. You need to speak to him? No, it's fine, thank you. around the corner. It should be perfect for Hope. Can't wait to start here and when he gets back from court. Daisy's here. In your office. Oh, great! Yeah. Hi. Rory, when's my next appointment? Um, 2.30, Mrs. Glynn. Nothing till then? Nope. Okay. Sure. Come in. Hi. Um, I found this in the photocopier. Thank you. No problem. She's my sister. Must be awful. Having someone gone missing like that, not knowing what's happened. It is. It's been really hard for my parents. My father especially. She's ten years younger than me, and she was living at home until she disappeared. He never stops talking about her. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, I don't know, put up posters or hand out flyers at the club. Five more minutes. She's already 20 minutes late. We're wasting our time. Oh, here she is. Come in. Hi. Uh, I forgot to say, Daisy asked me to tell you that she had to go out. She got an urgent phone call. Okay. Morning. Morning, Rory. Karen on in yet? No. <sighs> You're listening to Lunchtime on RTE. Okay, you can take a seat. Thanks. Thank you. For the lunchtime clinic? Yep. Okay. Bye. All right, Rory. Hey, who's up next? Uh, Mrs. Quinn. Mrs. Quinn. Would you like to go through? <laughs> Good 
fill the lungs. Sounds to me like it should ease off. We have to have some vices. But I'll get this. Go on. What's the damage? Hey, take it. Whoop, take it. Come on, come on. What you do that for? It was only messing. Of course I paid him. Oh, get home, Dad. I can't do that, son. I've left your mum. What's this? Just to say thanks for last night. I hardly see you homeless now, could I? Bloke in the shop picked them out. I didn't even think they did vinyl anymore. A pair of earplugs might be more appropriate. Snored a bit today. I'm surprised we still have a roof on. Your mom's always complaining about that. Was. We need to talk about that, Dad. Something to do with your adenoid. I mean, ma'am. Yeah. And we will. You? Well, I thought I might surprise you. I'm taking you somewhere nice. Mm, never say no to nice. See you. Bye. Good luck. Cara didn't phone in at all, did she? No. Okay. Do you want me to ring her again? Uh, no. I might drop in, actually. Can you lock up? Sure. Oh. Long day. Endless. Fancy a drink. I'd love to, but I can't. And I was buying. I have to meet my dad. You don't have to explain. He's left my mum. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and now he's living with me. <laughs> Are you close, then? Usually, we can talk about anything. He's more like a mate, really. But now my mum thinks I'm taking his side, and it's like... I'm sure that they'll work things out. Yeah. I hope so. See you. Bye. You want to be careful you don't OD in those things? Really? I was on to mom earlier. What did you tell her? You're trying to find yourself. What did you say to that? You should buy a map. Twenty-five years, Dad. Twenty-six. She deserves an explanation. Twenty-six years. Eighteen we were. Our mum got pregnant, we got married. Ended up odd jobbing to make ends meet. And one day you wake up, you're 44, you're still an odd job, man. Too old to fulfill the dream. What dream? There's no way I'm telling you. Come on. I do the laugh. Serpico. What? I saw the movie Serpico and I wanted to become a cop. But you hate the guards. I never said that. Oh, come on. Pig, scum, culty, redneck bastard. That was then. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you won't be fulfilling anything until you get that cop scene. I'm grand. I'm booking you tomorrow. My house, my rules, all right? I'd cancel all our appointments till further notice. No props. What's up? Some little tow rag hit Ronan with a metal bar last night. I've just had Keelan on the phone. He underwent emergency surgery for 12 hours. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, poor Ronan. Hello, Clancy. I'm yeah. heading to the hospital now. Give them my love, will you? Me too. Of course. It's the guards, Lynn. All right, well, I'll uh, take it in my room. Okay. Yeah, if you just hang on one second. Um, could you cover my appointments this afternoon? Oh, 
must love another woman, ma. No, he hasn't mentioned a Suzanne Hilliard. Look, I'll talk to you later, Mum, okay? I love you too. Bye. Who's Suzanne Hilliard? No idea. What's with the bandage? I cut myself shaving. I work in a clinic, Dad. No professional job in this evening. Grace thought I needed to get something checked out. Huh? First name terms already? You know me. Come on, let's go. You know how I love a bop. It's called clubbing, Dad. I thought that's what they did to baby seals. <laughs> there's anything we can do. Yeah, thanks, thanks. What are you doing here? Uh, I needed a break. There's someone I wanted to see. I'm moving back in with your mom. Does she know? I rang her this morning. Told her I found the map and I led back to the house. <laughs> Sham. I know. It's been good having you around. Well, stay, so. Well, not that good. <laughs> Come here. What? Give your father a hug, for God's sake. <sighs> You're a good kid, you know that? Don't go all Walton's on me, Dad. I'll give you a bell, okay? Sure. <coughs> I love you, Dad. Sure, why wouldn't you? 